Well, dealing with the state worker shortage is a new priority. Some agencies have anywhere between 10 and 30 percent vacancy rates. New cabinet secretaries will inherit vacancy rates at some agencies between 10 and 30 percent. According to the Department of Budget and Management, the state has 10,000 jobs to fill. This includes budgeted and unbudgeted positions, as well as 2,800 abolished positions. It means it's going to take a massive commitment. It means that secretaries are going to have to make this a number one priority, that they wake up in the morning and they're thinking, how do I fill my vacancies? And they go to bed at night thinking, did I fill my vacancies? Governor-elect Wes Moore pledges to fill 5,000 vacancies this year. According to ASME, the state's largest labor union, to compete with local jurisdictions and the federal government, Maryland must increase pay, provide child care subsidies, housing down payment assistance, offer remote work opportunities, and continuing education help. State House Democrat leaders also have a budget wish list. They want 10 percent of the budget total to be available in the state's rainy day fund. And we want to make sure that we have resources in the case that the economy turns. They want to see a healthy budget surplus. This is the first year lawmakers will have the authority to move budget items around. Legislative leaders are seeking set-asides for major transportation investments across the state, funds saved to pay additional education costs, and money to create a year of service program for high school seniors that would be combined with apprenticeships and workforce development. And we want to do this in a collaborative way with the executive, and so we're hoping that we will see in the fund balance resources that can be shared priorities. The ASME union issued a statement saying there are so many great opportunities to move Maryland forward and provide stable state government options that will grow our state's middle class. They go on to say we're eager to work with the administration to make that happen. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.